Hello everyone, expat Ian in the Philippines. So uh, this video might be a bit different to what I normally do. So this is a, a warning, maybe a warning, I don't know if you call it a warning, to all you guys that are still single and who are uh, looking for a uh, an Asian woman, um, I won't say just Filipina because um, what I'm going to explain to you um, happened to me also in in China, and there were also in China there were sort of Vietnamese girls and Thai girls, and so it's sort of all the all the same thing. Um, so when you guys either you go on these dating sites and you you see these girls all make up and uh, dressed up. Oh, they look very sexy, and you, yeah, I can. Or if you go to the to the bars, what I might just add is, if you see, if you're in Europe and you go to a bar and you see a, a young woman dressed up, nice dress and high heels or whatever, you automatically think that where they live is going to be very nice. Nice apartment or nice house. And it's going to be clean because that's how we how we live in, in Europe, right? Um, one of the first times when I was in China, well, not the first times, it was, when I was in China, um, I met a, a Chinese woman that, um, one of these bar girls. So um, we wasn't having any, um, no sex or anything. We we're just talking and having, you know, just talking, having fun. And um, I was curious because I heard that many of them lived together. And I'm just curious with how they lived. So I said, oh, you know, take me back to your place. Just, just to have a look. She goes, oh, no, no, you, you don't. I goes, why not? Anyway, later, um, she was going to leave to go back to her hometown for a couple of months or so. And uh, she says, oh, would you like to come back to my place for a meal before I fly off? And I said, well, great. That'll give me a chance to see actually how they live. And... Um, well, I was going to say, I wish I didn't, but it was good that I did. <laughs> so we we go to the, because uh, I'd never be, actually been um, at that time in an old Chinese um, apartment. So uh, we go there, um, old rusty door to the to the apartments, got this old stairs and then the, the front door is old. And I think, oh. And I went in and, oh, my God. She says, oh, excuse the, the mess. And, oh, it was dirty. The, I went into one room. Well, it was one room. It was like a living dining room and bedroom, all just one. And uh, I, I said, where, where do you sleep? She says, oh, on here. Oh, oh, my God. The mattress was black and, the, oh, made me feel sick now. And... I says, well, how many, how many of you girls live in here? Just five. And I says, well, you all sleep. And he goes, oh, no, you know, two are out working and three will be in and they'll, they'll sort of like shit, shit work. And then uh, she says, oh, there's still, there's some food left over from yesterday if I'd like that. So I go, well, not, I'm trying, you know, I think, oh, okay. I didn't really want it. I just want to try to be nice, you know, nice to, and the kitchen, everything was black and, oh, Jesus. And then I, you know, it's like um, they say to you, if you eat with the Chinese, don't look into the kitchen. Well, it's the same like with them, don't look into the toilet. I did. And I, oh, it was disgusting. And then you think, when these girls are at the bar, they smell nice, they look nice. And they, you know, they've got their nice clothes on. 
but then when you know how they how they live oh it's um so this is for you guys who are looking <laughs> looking for a woman keep this in the back of your head and then when i actually left germany and i was living in 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 uh, in china so um yeah, we were going out every weekend and we got to know a group of girls and we were very uh, uh, friends. We were very good friends with them. And a couple of the guys we were with, they were they had girlfriends, which were in this big group. And they were all renting uh, three or four apartments because there were so many of them. And there was one apartment, I think this it was either, so Filipinas, I think they were, Eight, eight or ten girls living in a small, so it's two, sorry about that, and I've got my electric fanny, I don't know if that's affecting the, because it's quite hot. Anyway, back to, um, there were ten to, eight to ten girls. Uh, I think there was two bedrooms. So if no one fit in the bedroom, they'd sleep on the sofa. So, we would go there, um, to have a few drinks before the girls used to go out doing their 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 bit. So it was good. And it, oh, it was really funny because you've got all these girls all running around in their bra and knickers. And, <laughs> and, and I said, if you see the kitchen, oh, it's... and we, you go in the bathroom so the toilet didn't work and the shower's a bit dirty and... And then you got lines in, or you got all these bras and knickers hanging down. <laughs> oh dear, it's it's. Oh, was it was quite amusing. And um, again, when these girls are done up, <laughs> got all their I was going to say gear, got their nice dresses on and their high heels, and they got the bag, and then they they go they go to the bar. You, you're like you're laughing at all, you know, because you see these guys and approach them. And you go, if he knew <laughs> how they how they live, <laughs> maybe you'll think twice about um, taking him away. And it's um, so it's the same here in the Philippines. Not let me finish. You see the girls like in the shopping mall. They all look, oh, they all look super. They're long, uh, black, shiny, straight hair. They've got the uniform on and uh, what are their clothes. But then if you know, if you knew actually how they, they live, a lot of them, they do live in uh, like these very, um, uh, Oh, these hollow, hollow brick houses where the toilet is it looks so dirty and the, the the living conditions you won't think you won't think that by looking at them when they're when they're working it can be very uh, misleading and uh, like I said that's that's not when you see actually when you see a woman in Europe at the disco or, or, or even working, they say, I don't know, in the shop. You, you, you're 99% sure that wherever she's coming from is, is nice and clean. And it's, but here, it's, it can be a, a shock for some of you guys. So, again, for you guys who are looking for an Asian woman, before you say yes or whatever, take a look where she lives. <laughs> it might change your mind. <laughs> so on that note, guys, I'll leave it at that. And uh, I'll catch you on my next video. So until then, guys, from Koya Ian, it's goodbye. So you guys, take care and beware. I'm not joking. I know from my past experience. Bye, guys.